sugar stars! Welcome back to my channel! ABC, if you came here for my short and you want to see me open the rest of these mini verse cafe mini DIY kits. These were literally so hard to find and I had to go into a Macy's that had a Toys R Us inside of it. I had to go behind the cash register to find these and luckily no one was at the cash register so I was able to take them all and I paid for them, of course, don't worry, but I'm gonna try to juggle them. Hi. I think these are so cool because unlike normal mini brands where you just kind of open them and see what you get, you have to make it yourself. I actually thought these were made by mini brands, but they're actually not. They're made by MGA Miniverse. If you're asking around, don't ask for mini brands because then you won't be able to find these. So I have five in here. Let's open them and see what we get. So we are here at my desk. This is for the extra ingredients. We got some ice and strawberry milk left over from our short. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the magic refrigerator. Now this fridge is special because it lights up and it also sings. Yes! Slay! Where do I put this? Put that there. Put the ice. Put the ice there. We'll keep the boba out. One, two, three, four, five to open today. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap them all right now. Three, two, one, boom! And then we got another layer to get through. So three, two, one, boom! And here we go. They're all ready to be opened up. Oh my gosh, which one should we open first? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mother said to pick the very best one and it is you. All right, let's see what's inside our first mini verse box. All this out of the way, all these papers. There's so many papers that come inside. It is another boba. I wonder which flavor this one is. First bag, this is probably the boba cup, and it is a boba cup with ears. What colors draw? I guess. Okay, I'm gonna guess green. Oh, and it is yellow again. Whoa. It's probably the boba bag. Yep, it is boba boba. What flavor do you guys think it's gonna be? Oh, oh, what's this? It's the same color as the strawberry? Wait, I'm confused. What flavor is this? Is it another pink one? And then here we have the ice. <laughs> Let me open my fridge back up. That's interesting because of our strawberry one. It looks like this. I don't know what this picture is. Is that a blueberry? But we clearly got clearly got a pink one. Okay, I guess we're, we're just going to find out what flavor it is once we open this up. And there we have our second strawberry boba. They can be friends. Let's put the extras inside our magic fridge. I'm actually gonna put all the ice inside this little thingy here. And then let's put our other strawberry milk tea in the fridge as well. Now let's open our next food bubble. Oh, this looks totally different. This is square. This is not a boba. Hooray, we got like a little, uh, plate here? Let's see what's in this one. This is a glaze? What? Ooh, what do you guys think it's gonna be? In this bag we got... What is this? <gasps> it's a cute little plate! Okay, so this must go on top like, like, like that. <laughs> this bag we got... Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, chocolate chips? And you can actually open it and see the chocolate chips inside? Dude, that is cool. Big bag, we have the final ingredient, which is, oh my gosh, it is a cute little box of donuts. Here are our cute little donuts, oh my gosh. Wow, it seems that we have gotten the chocolate donuts. All right, let's go ahead and make these. First, we got the plate. Then we got the little doily thing. Oh wait, the doily thing goes on top. We put the donuts, then we put the syrup, the glaze actually, and then the chocolate chips go on top. I'm gonna screw on the little top and then using a little bit of glaze here. The sauce in all these recipes actually act as a glue. You do have to put it in the sun if you want the glue to start setting, but lucky for me, I have a special little oven here, which we can use to harden the glue instead of waiting in the sun. It's already stuck. I turned it on for like two seconds. Also glue the paper to the plate as well. I'm using glaze as glue. It's so funny. All right, let's put it on. Boop. 
in the picture. They're kind of like stacked on top of each other. So I'm gonna do that as well. I'm gonna put it at like an angle right there. And then place it like that. Oh my gosh. Let's let her bake. And oh, a few more seconds. <laughs> Let's test it. Oh, and it stays. So it looks like there's sauce, sauce all over. And then carefully placed chocolate chips. Just like how a glazed donut would look like in real life. Woo! Now we're gonna open our chocolate chips. I'm gonna actually do this. Holy, those look so cute. I need more. More! And then I'm gonna pick them up one by one. These tiny chocolate chips are so tiny. I'm gonna hold one. So cute and so small. First one. Oh my gosh! Tiny foods are so tiny. I'm literally like a food sculptor right now. Someone should hire me to bake in their bakery. That's a good one. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna use my finger for this one. Boop. <laughs> Okay, let's bake her. Let's bake her before these chocolate chips fall off. My goodness, oh my goodness. Yum, yum, yum. Does it fall off? No. Should I put more glaze? Maybe a little bit on the side would make it look even more tasty. Tasty, tasty. Fergalicious diff. Yeah, because donuts are usually glazed all over, right? And then bagels are the ones that don't really have any frosting. We cooking now. We're cooking donuts up in here. Done, the chocolate donuts. Yum, 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 yum. Let's also cross it off of our list. Done. We got some glaze. Whoopsie. And then we also have some chocolate chips for the fridge. Yay! Eeny meeny miny mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mother said to pick the very best one, and it is you. Let's see what's inside this one. Ooh, this feels different as well. There's, it's like a circle. It's a very circular shape. So much paper. We don't need all this paper. Too many papers. We got a straw. It seems like. Ooh, and this is the syrup. What does it say? This says Rise and Shine Coffee Company. I wonder if we're making coffee in this one. This feels like a cup. It's a tiny little cup. What color straw do you think it's gonna be? I'm gonna guess it's a green straw. Whoa. A blue tiny straw. Not like a thick boba straw, but a thin tiny blue straw. I wonder if they actually work as a straw. Yep, it do. <laughs> Let's see what's inside here. It is a... Oh my gosh! It's a little mocha coffee bottle. This is so cute! <laughs> then in this bag, it's the circular kind of container. Ooh, whipped cream. Interesting. You know, I'm surprised we don't have any ice for this coffee. But maybe we're making like a frappuccino? Wait, am I missing... Oh no, I'm not missing anything. Okay, I, th I thought I was missing like the sauce that goes on top, but it's actually inside the whipped cream container. This seems like one of the easiest ones we're about to make, so. We need the cup, then the cup, we fill it up with the stuff, the coffee, and then we put in more, and then we put the whipped cream on top. Let's start pouring in the coffee. Just a little bit at first. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> it's very thick coffee. Now it says to put in the straw. Do I want the straw tilted? I want the straw like a little, maybe a little bit tilted like that. Put in the rest of the coffee. Squeeze. I need two hands for this. It's looking like chocolate milk. I think it's whipped cream time. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, that is so cute. Complete with some syrup drizzle on top. Give me more! I like how it like bubbles up too. It seems really realistic. Let's put our whipped cream on top. Boop. Okay, I'm gonna cure it right away. I'm gonna bake it because it looks like it's sinking. It's sinking into the coffee. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I am baking the coffee. <gasps> I dropped my whipped cream. Okay, so now that, ooh, it's hot. Ooh, it's warm. Now that it's a bit more solid. Let's see how solid it really is. Oh, oh yeah. You hear that? All right, now it's time. <laughs> we use this on the desk. <laughs> yeah, that, that should be okay, I think, hopefully. And it sits on top like that, yes. Boom. She's done. Our cafe mocha is complete. Crossing it off. Let's put the tub of whipped cream up. Let's put it here. Let's 
bottle of coffee can go down here. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mother said to pick the very best one, and it is not you. This one. Oop. There's a cup in here, but it looks like a flat cup. A cup with a flat top. Paper, 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 paper. This says, keep cool. I wonder if we're making a nice little icy drink here. Let's open this one up. It is a bottle of, what is this? Juice? It's pink. It says it's a pink juice. And here it seems like we've got a straw. I'm gonna guess blue. It is blue. It's a little bit bendy, but that's okay. And here we got, oh, it says Happy Sun Farms on it. That's so cute. Maybe a little bag of fruit. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's like a tiny little thing of, these are raspberries. This is so cute. I love how they package the food, just like how they would at like the supermarket or something. It feels like I'm actually making something that I'm gonna eat. Oh, so cute. This is what they look like up close. They even have the little raspberry texture on them, which is like kind of bumpy. <gasps> a little bag of ice. So we are making like a nice cool little drink here. A nice little fruit drink. And oh, it's the cup. I believe we are making this berry refresher. It is pink and then they have little raspberries floating around in it. So it looks like we kind of pour everything in at once. So let's start with the juice. Raspberry berry juice. Let's see if it's like super pink or not. Oh my gosh, that's a pretty color. It's so nice and pink. All right, I'm gonna fill it up like halfway. I'm gonna take a berry. I'm gonna drop it in the cup. Boop. Oh, oh it's sinking, it's sinking. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. Okay, let's like shove it. Shove it a little bit down there. Ooh, so it floats around. Cute. It's time for some ice. There we go. Mix it all together. <laughs> I need them to be perfectly suspended in the liquid. Ooh, yum. I'm gonna set it and then I'm actually gonna put the ice on top. It's hot, it's hot. I got hot drink here, hot drink. Put the ice, oh no, my ice. <gasps> Wait, I forgot my straw. I forgot to put the straw in, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I cured it without putting the straw in. I am silly. You know what, I might have to cut the straw in order to put it in. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. All right. So let's put the lid on. Uh oh, it's not closing. It's not closing. It's not, clo it's too full. It's too filled with ice. Okay. It seems like it won't close because I cured it. And so it's just like, it just won't do it. It, it just won't. Oh, <sighs> all right. <laughs> okay. Here's our berry refresher with our wonky lid, but Everything else looks pretty cute. Time to cross off our berry refresher. Done. Time to put our extra ingredients in the fridge. So we're gonna put some raspberries inside. Put the raspberries on the top shelf. Then we got some juice, raspberry juice. Let's put it next to the coffee. More ice for our ice bucket. You guys, we only have one food left to make. I wonder what it'll be. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be donuts. We got a doily. First bag. We got some kind of pink glaze. Next bag, we have the little stand. Doily goes on top. <laughs> and here is a... Oh my gosh. We have a can of sprinkles. So cute. And in here we must have donuts. It says sun baked sweets. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I think we're doing Wait, no, we're not doing. We're doing the pink donuts. Whoa, they look so yummy. So kind of the same as the chocolate donuts. First is the doily, then the donuts, then the froth, the glaze, and then the sprinkles on top. Okay, let's get our glaze on top first. Ooh, it's very pink. Whoa. Boop. Let's bake this so we don't have to worry about it. Done. Now I gotta open our donuts. <gasps> and here they are. 
all. They look like bagels. <laughs> okay, just like the other ones, I'm gonna kind of tilt it onto the side. There we go. You know what? I'm actually gonna start glazing the whole thing. Mm, the picture looks like the syrup's kind of dripping down on the sides. I'll put a lot of glaze on it. Let's lay this next to this donut. Like that. Ooh, yummy. Oh, that looks so good. I think it's time for sprinkles. I wonder if I should just like, just like do this maybe? Like a real donut. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'm too much of a perfectionist. I need every sprinkle in like the right spot. <laughs> I'm gonna put them on individually. I am a professional food sculptor. Yellow one like right there. And then I need a pink one right here. I am being so crazy right now. Oh, too much, too much, too much, too much. Okay, I think it's time to bake. And here is our donuts, our pink donuts. They look so good. Let's open the fridge up and put our sprinkles inside and our glaze as well. I'm gonna put it down right here. I think that's a good spot. Our fridge is so full. And here's all the food that we made today. Which one was your guys' favorite? The donuts are actually my favorite. The donuts were super fun to make compared to the drinks. There's my two bobas. <laughs> I think the most perfect one that I've made was probably the coffee and then these donuts. These donuts are pretty perfect looking. That is a good looking donut. I like how I arranged the chocolate chips. I messed up a lot on this one, but it still came out pretty good. Look how tilted the lid is. Look at these donuts. <laughs> but overall making this was super fun to do. To me, these all feel like little special works of art. 